The L3D Cube may look like a big box of lights, but it's a big box of lights that you can program. You can download applications and create displays that respond to things like sound and the weather. The team at Looking Glass, which makes the cube, sees it as an early experiment in 3D displays. Think holograms. So this is the L3D Cube, and it's the first full-color, easy-to-assemble kit for a volumetric display. It's like a simple hologram. It's like a little 3D display. And they're programmable, just like a screen. You can tell it to display any type of movie or video, anything you like. We make these as a kit, and what it's showing right now are just different demos that come with it. Some of them are just standalone programs. Others of them respond. So this is uh, listening to sound. So if I go like And I think you can download programs from the internet as well, right? So we made this website for the cubes called CubeTube, which is like YouTube for, for cubes. So this is a site where people can create and put up all kinds of their own programs and ideas that they want to put on a cube. And it's just a way for people to experiment and explore with what they want to show in 3D and what we can do if we had, as we get closer to this dream of holograms being like at our fingertip. One of my favorites is by this user, Ben, and he did a 3D game of Snake. So I'm going to just click. I click Send to my cube. The cube, in just a second, will start to load that program. And it just picks that up over Wi-Fi. And then a few seconds later, it just starts running whatever this other program is. And there it goes. So where did the idea for the uh, L3D cube come from? So about a year, year and a half ago, we developed something called volumetric printing. It's like 3D printing, except it uses just ink on hundreds of layers of plastic. And you can see actually in here, there's no object inside. It's uh, just ink suspended in the volume. And as we started to show these around at bars and parties and events, about a quarter of the people we showed it to said, that's awesome, but what if you could replace the ink with light? Then you could have the display actually move and be changing, right. or you could have the print turn into a display. You also see this sort of as like the first step towards these, uh, you know, sort of like this future of volumetric displays. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about like where you see this going? Sure. So the prints to us are like a freeze frame of a perfect volumetric display. Um, the L3D cube is a lower resolution but dynamic and shareable display, the first of its kind really, where someone in one part of the world can write an app, and then someone in another part of the world that maybe doesn't know how to code can go to cubetube.org and download that app onto their cube in full, true 3D, no glasses or headgear necessary. And the third stage would be combining stage one's resolution and stage two's dynamic qualities and shareable qualities. Let's say uh, you get a CAT scan right. uh, at the hospital. You could have that um, data appear in a volumetric display, just as if you actually took it out of the person's body and right. had it living in this little flask. People who are buying this initial product they're probably a little bit more techy, a little more nerdy, which is great. Those are our people. That's, those are the TechCrunch readers. Uh, but at a certain point, you, to, to get to where you're talking about, it also is about like reaching that mass audience as well. When do you think that happens? Um, sooner than you think. Okay. <laughs> because you have something in the pipeline that'll. You just think. Oh, like that's it's been good. that's been the driving dream of the company, and we're doing these stages to understand how people interact with this very very different type of display. It's not a screen. It's like a living digital object, you know, that takes up real space. We're still working towards that.